Hi everyone and welcome to a new video. Today we're going to be talking about 1v1 on the goalie on the reverse. Alright, before we get started I'd like to let you know that my online courses are now available on Hertzberg TV Premium. Uh, I'll leave a link in the description below so you can check them out. There's one online course on elimination and there's one online course on scoring, shooting and positioning. Check it out and let me help you reach your full potential. So when we talk about finishing 1v1 versus the goalie when you end up on your reverse, there is actually three ways in which you can uh, finish the, the ball on goal. Obviously, the hit reverse tomahawk shot is one of them, but I'm not going to take that one now because sometimes the goalie comes close and you need to make a quick decision and you don't have time to shoot or the goalie will block. What I've done today is I've taken a small goal to act as the goalkeeper. Obviously, normally goalkeepers are tall, but for now, this will be fine. So, let me take you into the three ways that you can beat your goalie 1v1 on the reverse. All right, so the first way to beat the goalkeeper when you're going one-on-one -on -one with the reverse is just the low, uh, quick sweep on the ground. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your hands, you're gonna put them about this far apart, and you're gonna have the face uh, of the stick facing upwards towards the sky. And what you're actually gonna do is you're gonna try, when you end up on your reverse, you have to try and recognize where you see a hole. It could be through the legs, it could be in the short corner. In this case, the long corner is out of play. And what you actually wanna do is you wanna make it quick. So you want to take the ball, you want to lay it here, and then quickly you want to try and beat the goalkeeper on his left foot. Okay, so another option is to try and get the ball to lift up into the air. Usually when goalkeepers come out, they tend to go low. Sometimes maybe even they try and make a, a block sliding tackle. Uh, so what you, what you can do to surprise goalkeepers is you can try and get under the ball a bit more using the sweep, allowing the ball to go up into the air. For example, if you're coming in and you see the goalie is close, you can try and really get under the ball and try and lift it up. You really need to get low, use this side of the stick for the ball to lift up, and it could beat the goalkeeper over the shoulders, or when they slide, it simply goes over into the roof of the goal. All right, so the second way that you can beat the goalkeeper is to stay a little bit more upright. And we're gonna use this part of the stick to try and lift the ball over with a little shovel pass or a little shovel move. So the way that looks is if you get quite close to the goalkeeper, you can end up bringing the ball here and then trying to lift the ball over the goalkeeper. That's especially if the goalkeeper comes close, he's gonna try and protect going through the feet. And you can threaten maybe to go low and then lift the ball over the goalkeeper's shoulder. Hi everyone, do you want to copy me and mirror my skills? Check out the Be Like app and compare your skills to mine. Good luck. All right, so a little piece of advice if you're trying to do that move where you bring the ball and you go upright is you want to try and bring the ball left first to allow the goalkeeper to step. Because otherwise the, goal, the goalkeeper won't step and it's really hard to lift a ball that's rolling towards the goalkeeper. So what you want to try and do is when you arrive towards the goalkeeper and you, in your mind you've chosen that you want to do this move, sometimes it helps to just bring the ball left, allowing it to be on the left side of your left foot and then bring out the elbow and then scoop the ball because it's easier to scoop a ball when it's going left forward. So it looks like this. You arrive towards the goalkeeper, then from here, you're gonna go left and then lift. This makes it easier to get under the ball and it'll help you to get the goalkeeper moving. When you're going 1v1, you always wanna try and get the goalkeeper moving. So good luck with that one. All right, so the third and my favorite one is the actual backhand chip. The difference between the one we did before is you got your hands apart and you're actually lifting the ball. Now you're gonna bring your hands together and you're gonna try and really use the tip of the stick to actually chip the ball over. The cool thing about this 
is the goalkeeper is going to think you're going to hit the tomahawk or the reverse, but you're going to stay more upright. The goalkeeper will probably slide and you can chip it over. All right, so the good thing about this technique is that to hit the tomahawk, you have to get really low. And to hit this one, you don't have to get so low. So you can actually play this ball when you're on quite high speed. And what you're going to try and do is you're going to try and be a bit closer to the ball. So when you hit this shot, your head is quite high. Compared to when you hit the tomahawk, you need to be really low. So the distance to the ball is really important. And you really want to try and get the right contact and make sure you don't rush your backswing. What you want to try and do is you really want to focus on getting the right contact because once you get the contact, the ball will fly up easily. So don't try and go too hard. Just try and really get the right contact so that the ball gets a nice flight. And the last piece of advice I can give you is try not to go too hard. If you go too hard, the ball will get too much speed. So try and end your backswing right after you chip the ball. Good luck. All right, guys, thanks for watching. There's three tips how to finish with your reverse. Don't forget to check out my online courses and see you next week. Bye-bye.